this is Try It Tuesdays with Crazy Dave's crew. And I cannot be the only person who has walked into the Dollar Tree or the 99 cent store and seen some of the, the products and wondered if they really work or not. Like the Crystal Growing. You, know, you see these all over the place. You see the big kits at Hobby Lobby. You see them in hobby stores. You see them in craft stores. You see them sometimes at Walmart. But we decided to go the cheap route and test them out from Dollar Tree. So let's get the children of the crew together and let's see what they can do with this. Shall we? Be right back. instructions today. She's baking crystals, rocks, and a stick. I don't know what this is for, if it's just there. I think it's just there. Well, hopefully, probably. Fill the display pestle to about three-fourths full with cold water into it and pour the water into a container. Okay, so what we're going to do using cold water. We're going to fill your display container mm -hmm. about three-fourths of the way with the water. Which I'm betting is where the little step is. Then it says you're going to make a note of the water level and pour it away. And it's going to help to help you get some hot water and pour it into the container to the same level as the cold water. Okay. So let's... Okay. You guys tell me if that's about three fours. I think the pedestal tells, tells you by the fact that it has a oh. this little thing right here. Yeah, it's got that little shelf, so I bet we have to pour it up to the shelf. You didn't, you haven't quite reached my shelf. You did eat. We're going to need a paper towel too. <laughs> You're good. Alright, now. You're good. Take your cold water and pour it into your container. You each have a glass container. and mark on your glass container the top of the water line in your glass container and then pour the cold water back into this measuring cup please. Tell me when to stop. Stop. Okay. Tell me stop. When to stop. A little more. Stop. Oh, I scoop back a bit. A little more. Okay. Right, scoop you good? A bit. A cushion. Maybe just a cushion. eat more. Yay! Now the next instruction the says stuff. you need to get the open crystal. open the crystal powder chemicals 
and pour three fourths of the bag into the container and mix until it has dissolved. Now we're messing with science. Nice big chunk. It's okay. In mine. It'll dissolve in the hot water. So about half of the packet and then half of whatever's left. Stir until dissolved. I think I just did two thirds. Yep, that's good. Wait, do I stir with the stick? Yeah. Stir it with the stick. And hang on to the hang on to the rest of your chemicals. 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 It looks like Kool-Aid now. Don't drink it. <laughs> Pour it all in. Gently. There you go. Oh, come on. Oh. Now, put a base rock into your pedestal. And there's just this place, a base rock. I wonder what do if you put both of them in there. And then pour the remaining crystals on top of your rock. This will help it grow faster. Within hours, you will start to see small crystals form. Crystals grow approximately three to four centimeters. We're going to find a place to put those. And we're going to keep an eye on those throughout the day and see what happens.
crystals are lighter than the than the package advertised them as. Okay. What are those little round things on them? <laughs> they're not what we expected because they're also very opaque. Okay. Yeah, okay. I got the right word. <laughs> and the picture shows us it was supposed to grow bigger. Okay. Than it actually did and shinier. They look like rocks. And technically, that, that is what crystals are, but they're very dead rocks. So, would y'all recommend this to anybody else? Not really. <laughs> Final result. A growing crystal kit from Dollar Tree. It was a diversion. It was a few minutes of activity with the kids. Overall, it did not, in my opinion, perform the way that they said it was going to. It did not meet our expectations. Uh, it took longer. I don't think we're going to be buying any more of these. I think if they want to do crystals, we may go to uh, you know, Hobby Lobby or some other place and get a real crystal growing kit or look up the chemicals and figure it out on our own. For a dollar, you get what you pay for, but I uh, think we'll save our dollars and spend them somewhere else instead of buying this from Dollar Tree. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and don't forget to come back because you never know what crazy stuff this crew is going to get into. Bye.